All right, here we go again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. Another set of Tandem software updates is upon us. The main update 2020.36.10 and then closely followed by the bug fix 2020.36.11. We highly appreciate all this Aussie software love, which is less than a few weeks behind our US counterparts and this one has some pretty awesome features. Let's go through them first. And as always, I need to thank Pete for taking the time to film the drive and this will be our 20 minute Tesla Tom autopilot challenge as well. All right, first up, green traffic light chime. A chime will now play when the traffic light you're waiting for turns green. And if you're waiting behind another car, once that car moves, the chime will sound unless traffic aware cruise control or auto steer is active. Now you have to activate it via the autopilot settings. And please note that this is just designed as a notification and it is the driver's responsibility to observe the environment and make decisions accordingly. Next up is auto steer stop sign and stop light warning. The car may warn you in some cases if it detects that you're about to run a stop sign or stop light while the car is in auto steer. And this is not a substitute for attentive driving and the driver has to take over. The next feature is a Raven Model S Model X only feature because this talks about suspension system and how it actively and dynamically dampens each wheel depending on the road conditions. It's pretty cool and I have some displays at the end of this video too. The next one is the biggie, traffic light stop sign control which is still in beta of course. The driver need not pull down on the autopilot stock to continue through green traffic lights anymore. That's pretty cool isn't it? But there is a caveat. This only happens when there is a lead vehicle ahead of us. The stop line will turn green, confirming that the car will now continue through an intersection. Now they give you a warning again, please do continue to pay attention. It's very important that this feature is still in beta. The next one, navigate on autopilot, exit passing lane. When the navigate on autopilot is activated, your car can now remain in the passing lane. To adjust this, we have to go into autopilot settings and click on exit passing lane. Autopilot engaged and right away we see a green traffic light come up. But in this case, as there is no lead vehicle in front of us, we had to confirm that green light by pressing the stop down. If the radar cannot see the car in front, then it would need intervention for it to pass across. Guys, while you're at it, may I kindly request you to click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well. It really helps my channel grow. I'm sure you guys have watched my previous Urban Autopilot Challenge video. If you have not, the same is there in the description of this as well as in the top right corner. Now, as we saw in that, these kinds of long roads are fantastic for autopilot and minimal intervention is needed. Then we came upon the next set of green lights and in this case there is a lead vehicle in front of us. So that vehicle is seen by the radar as it's displayed on the screen. Watch what the car does. If you recall from earlier in this video or from my previous video, this green line will actually be red at this time. And only after we confirm by pushing the stock down or pressing on the accelerator will this turn green although there is a green light. But in this case, because there's a lead vehicle, no need to confirm. Pretty darn cool. One step closer to full self driving. Here we see the speed and accuracy with which the car recognizes the yellow light which then turns to red. Did you miss that? Let me just replay that for you. There's nothing fancy at play here. This is a standard traffic aware cruise control. The car in front is slowing down and stopping for the red light and so does Model X. May I remind you there have been no autopilot disengagements in this drive as of yet. Now folks, watch closely or rather Watch carefully as well as listen because as soon as this red light turns green, you will hear that green traffic light chime. Let me quickly recap that for you. As soon as the traffic light turned green, the green light chime was heard and the car started to inch forward. But in this case, Peter had to click on the autopilot stock to override the traffic light intersection warning. I'm still quite impressed. Now this is yet another step towards full self-driving. Now this one is interesting. You can see that the Model X recognizes that merging car from the left lane onto our lane and adjusts our speed accordingly. And because this becomes a lead car, 
there was no requirement for autopilot confirmation when we come upon that green light up ahead. But keep watching, there's something interesting that happens here. Now that is the first autopilot disengagement for this trip. As soon as Peter felt that the car was too close to that bus on the left, he took over control. Now he did re-engage autopilot right away, but there was something interesting that happens ahead too. Keep watching. Look at that. The car took itself out of autopilot again because it saw that car cross. Let me rewind that for you. Now this is not uncommon here in Australia. As our driver's handbook would say, if turning right, enter beyond the stop line and proceed as far as possible without impeding oncoming traffic. Wait within the intersection until it's safe to complete the turn. You must also give way to other vehicles and pedestrians in the intersection after the last light change, including turning traffic. And that's exactly what this car was doing. So this is why these kind of videos are very important because it helps us, one, to teach autopilot and two, to also validate this autopilot in the next software update. I thank Tesla Tom for this fantastic idea. His video is linked in the description as well as in the top right corner. As autopilot drives us through this set of traffic lights, there's no need to intervene as there is a lead vehicle in front of us. Once again, I have to remind you, if the radar can see it, it is taken as a confirmation of a lead vehicle. Now this is an interesting edge case too. The car in front starts moving and Model X starts following the same. But it's sort of stuck at the edge of the intersection because the car in front has no place to move. A human being may have stopped and waited for the car to pass and have one full car distance before crossing the intersection. Now in this case, it is blocking the intersection and it's not a good look for Tesla to do that. This is something to remember and maybe in the next version, Tesla would do better. Here is an instance where autopilot works perfectly. A car is merging into our road from the left, but this does not confuse autopilot. Model X sticks to its lane and lets that car turn in without any problems. The next part of the video is super awesome in my opinion, and it goes to show that Tesla is always safety first. Green light turns yellow at this time, and although the car in front decides to jump that yellow line, not Tesla, that red stop line came well ahead of time as soon as the yellow light was recognized and the car comes to a perfect halt behind that red line. Super awesome indeed. Now, now, I know I'm a Tesla fanboy, but we do see some not so awesome stuff as well and that needs to be improved in the next versions, I suppose. You see these flickering green lights which then turn to yellow? That is in response to that left lane light that has come up. This may not be a massive problem for the American and Canadian markets because they have separate arrow light signs which are away from the main traffic bundle. But in our case, because these arrow lights are incorporated with the main bundle, autopilot hardware and software must be able to segregate the wheat from the chaff. I'm sure you can hear those green light chimes and the car inching forward perfectly without any problems. Till now, it has been a great run for this urban autopilot challenge, only two interventions. I'm not sure what scared autopilot over here, but I guess it's more like a nag to make sure that the driver is attentive. Autopilot was not disengaged. Jaywalkers? Well, we see you. Cones, lots of cones. I 
I thought this next intersection would be a problem for the car because the intersection is quite wide and there are some confusing lines on the road, but no problems whatsoever. Hardware 3.0 and Tesla Autopilot software handled this like a champ. Tesla Autopilot is far, far ahead of the competition and this is the true potential of Tesla. Now look at this Model X move guys, intersection after intersection, traffic light after traffic light. This is a true urban autopilot challenge win for this car. I am really impressed. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're at it, please click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon and it really helps my channel grow. Autopilot which has been working perfectly till now was somehow stumped by this particular stretch. I guess it's the slight elevation and the curve of the road which stumped Autopilot but to me it only seems like a minor setback. And that completes our urban Autopilot challenge. I thought the car did brilliantly well. There were only three interventions in this entire route and the amount of improvements in the software since the previous update have been phenomenal in my opinion. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll get to them in a timely fashion. What would you want Tesla to improve in the next round? Were you impressed with this software update? If there are any anecdotes or any edge cases that you have, please do leave them in the comments as well. And I get to all my comments in a timely fashion. Till I meet you again in another interesting video, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong, signing off, peace.